Here on the OCU Athletics Update, we're talking to Delaware Resource Group Superstar Athlete of the Week, Emily Webster, a senior from Sedalia, Missouri, has finished her Stars wrestling career at 118 and zero, and has wrapped up her fourth national title and just this most recent national tournament performance. Talk about your performance there. Well, I mean, this one was uh, very unique because I blew my ACL about a month before, so uh, preparing was a little different, you know, for it. A lot of a lot of biking and ellipticaling, and not as much mat time as I would um, really want. But going in, you know, I was I think I was pretty prepared going in, but mentally I was kind of a little disturbed because of just you know what the get or the thing I was going to have to make up for, and. Uh, now, day one was kind of shocking for me because we were doing this one uh, drill that we always do, but I hadn't done it since uh, the before the injury. So I started and I was really slow and I was really choppy and those are like things that I never am. You know, like I'm I uh, rely on my quickness and my you know, fluidity and everything, and really scared me. So day one was kind of hard. I was really sloppy, you know. But then day two, you know, came around and I was just like, you know, I've been working for this for four years. You better get your butt in gear. And I think I did. So Earlier this year, Coach uh, Randall talked about a match where you actually were trailing and ended up getting the pin. In 118 victories, how many close calls were there? Um, I, I believe there were a couple my freshman year, but I don't really remember them as much. But I know the past two years, um, the same opponent that I faced uh, for the instance you cited, uh, She's done that, or we've had two close matches. Um, last year at National Duels, I was down again, I think, eight to one. I scored eight points on myself. Um, and then the whole match I spent trying to get back and back and back. And finally, I think I, that was a buzzer uh, winner. Like I won with like a second left. So that was crazy. This year, same thing, same scenario, but I was able to get the pin and the match wasn't as long. So it was kind of like, you know, pull your head out of your butt, get going. And, and we did. So Your singlet and gear are going to be displayed the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater. Such an early age to be a Hall of Famer. How does that feel? Well, I mean, that's one of the things that, like, as a kid, you kind of dream about. And I don't know about everybody else, but for me, I never actually thought it would happen kind of thing. And, and to, for it to become reality, it's just, it's kind of surreal. Just like this whole experience, it's just like, I've always dreamed of it. I've always kind of wanted it, but holy crap, it's actually happening. What do I do? So, it's... You've had an equal amount of success on the mat as you have in the classroom uh, with a very high GPA. Talk about the drive to succeed in the classroom versus in the athletic field. Well, for me, I mean, they're one and the same. Uh, that's kind of just the way I live my life and my personality. I'm very competitive, and I like to push myself um, in anything that I do. And sometimes that's great, and sometimes it's not so good when you're just playing cards with your family or something. You know, competitive nature, uh, it's, it's hard to separate, you know, where you put it and where you don't. So it's, it's helped me in the classroom a lot because, you know, it, it drives me to just do my best in, in all of the classwork, so. And what's your major at OCU? Chemistry, so. So what are your career plans when wrestling's over? Um, I have an internship this summer uh, in Wisconsin, so it's at a bakery, which is uh, not chemistry, but um, baking is another one of my passions, and I'm really excited to be able to kind of explore that. And then after that's over, you know, I, I doing the internship for the experience and to see, you know, is this something that I can see myself doing? And then I plan on moving back to the Kansas City area and uh, maybe getting a lab job. I'm not really sure. Just kind of going to take a year off to kind of figure out what, what's next. So, Is there any more wrestling in the future? As far as uh, competitive, probably not. Uh, I, can't, I can't swear to you that two years from now I'm not going to get the itch and want to come back. But as far as I'm we're concerned now, probably not. Um, I would like to stay involved in the sport. It's not something I can just completely cold turkey give up everything. But um, I'd like to like to still coach and possibly officiate. So, what will you remember from your wrestling career most? Well, that's a hard one because there's so many things that, so many experiences and so many lessons that I've learned. Um, I think probably the thing 
kind of the area I won't forget is the, the friendships and, and the people that I've met through it because, you know, my teammates here at OCU, the coaches that I've had throughout the years, all have played just a, a huge part in my life. And there are people that I will, you know, be able to, you know, continue to, to get, be in touch with and, and to know forever. So that's, I think that's probably what I'll take away. I can't imagine that you have a whole lot of free time, but I understand that in the free time that you do have, you've exper experimented with triathlons. Uh, yeah. How did you get into that? Well, that's kind of a father-daughter bonding exercise, especially um, I try to go home during the summers, and uh, one of the things I do to keep in shape, you know, is do these triathlons. And my dad, I don't know, he just... He's crazy. I think I get some of the crazy gene from him. So he decided he's going to do these triathlons. I'm like, well, if you're going to do them, I'm going to do them too. So that's what we would do, you know, every weekend during the summer is just, you know, ride the bike for 25 miles, go run a bunch, and then go swimming. So it's just a, another way to kind of push yourself to, to a level that you don't think you can go to until you get there. So. All right, thanks very much. We're talking to Delaware Resource Group Super Athlete of the Week, Emily Webster. She'll be in the Hall of Fame soon. Look for her in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. There's a call to be answered. The spirit of competition is still alive inside. The desire still drives. The phrase student athlete has a great ring to it. Lasting friendships are ready to be made. You just want to keep playing. Game on. Learn more at NAIA.org 